Thank you for the introduction and hi everyone. Uh, my name is Marlene and welcome to my talk, Meet Me at Midnight, Audio Steganography in Python. Now this talk is going to be a whirlwind tour of the world of audio steganography, which is the practice of hiding text, audio, or images within a sound file. So to get us started today, let's go ahead and have a brief and interesting history of steganography. Now the term steganography is derived from two Greek words, the word steganos, meaning covered, and the word graphian, meaning to write. And one of the earliest recorded uses of steganography dates back to 440 BC, when Histeus, the Persian chief of Miletus, shaved the heads of one of his servants and tattooed a secret message on the servant's scalp. Then this message uh, got covered a few days or weeks later after the servant's hair grew back and his taste was then able to send the servant over to someone else called Aristagoras, who then shaved the servant's head and, this, and Aristagoras was able to read the secret message. So obviously, this is not the most ethical or efficient way of sending a secret message. So I would like to actively discourage anyone watching this talk from using this specific flavor of steganography. However, today, steganography is a growing field and there are so many exciting ways that it's being used. In this talk, I'm going to be giving you a practical example of how you can use steganography in our modern times. So while I might be single, I am going to be giving you some excellent love advice on how to impress your crush. And this is going to be very good advice. I can guarantee that because I Googled and I also read different articles on the topic. So I'm basically an expert. Um, <laughs> but this topic is really popular. And in fact, if you Google how to impress your crush, over 15 million results show up. One of the most common pieces of advice was to send your crush a handwritten note. So since this is Bang Bang Con and this is a computer conference, I'm going to assume that your crush is a computer person. And because of that, we are going to take things a bit further. And instead of sending them a boring handwritten note, I'm going to be showing you how to impress your crush by sending them a secret message embedded in an audio file and then sending them the code to decode that secret message. I mean, what could be more romantic? <laughs> so as we start this magical journey of trying to impress our crush, the first step is to create a sound file that will contain the message. We also need to decide what the secret message is actually going to be. So before this talk, I took the liberty of recording an audio message and saved it to my laptop as a .wav file. This is going to be our cover audio that will contain our secret text message. And there's nothing particularly special about the file. Actually, let me try and play it for you so that you know it's a normal audio clip. Uh, I hope it'll, it'll play, but if- Hi, I have a secret message for you. The order clip just said, hi, I have a secret message for you. So hopefully you heard that. And hopefully when your crush receives the audio file, they're smart enough to know that's a, that there's a secret message hidden in the audio file. So a good concept that will help us understand what we are going to do next is that computers store things in memories just like human beings do. So whether that's a movie, a line of text, or an audio file. However, everything in a computer's memory is stored as bits or binary digits. So while we see and, he and hear the audio file that I played earlier, the computer actually stores this file as a specific sequence of zeros and ones. Uh, and then it understands and processes these zeros and ones using its central processing unit. So a bit is the smallest unit that can either be a one or a zero and a group of eight bits makes up a byte. So the full audio file is therefore made up of lots and lots of bytes. Now, hopefully we all uh, may have had a refresher or now fully understand uh, how computers store things. So let's get back to the task at hand. If you've forgotten, let me just remind you that we are on our way to impressing our beloved crush. The next thing we want to do is decide on the secret message that we are going to send to our crush. For our specific case, I've chosen to let our crush know that they should meet us at midnight. And I think this is a great test for your relationship with your crush because 
I'm assuming that on average, the majority of people are asleep by 1030. I know that is true for me. So if your crush actually decides to get out of bed and meet you at midnight, I think that's a clear sign that you are headed in the right direction and they are probably interested in you. So <laughs> it's a great test for your relationship. Now, as I mentioned earlier, computers store everything in their memory as bits. And so even this line of text with our message is going to be stored in our computer's memory as a specific sequence of zeros and one. Great, so we are done with step one, which is we have created our cover audio file and we've also uh, decided on our secret message, the actual text that's going to be hidden in that file. Step two on this journey is to hide the secret message in our audio file. To do this, we're going to use a type of audio steganography called LSB, which stands for the least significant bit. In its most simplistic form, the, an LSB algorithm replaces the least significant bit of each byte in the cover data with one bit from the secret message. In our case, each bit of our secret message is embedded into our cover audio byte by byte. Most of the time, this doesn't affect how the cover data looks or sounds since only one bit per byte is changed. So even with our audio file before, it should sound exactly the same. Now, once this is done, the audio file is ready to be sent to our crush. And to read that secret message from the file, our crush will need some courage to select this, the least significant bit of each byte and put these together to rebuild the secret message. Okay, so now let's look at the actual code we will do we will use to do all of this. So first, we want to change our cover audio into an array of bytes. To be able to do that, we import the wave library, which you can uh, install uh, using pip. You can run pip install wave. And this is a great Python package that you can use to manipulate audio files. We're also going to use byte array, which is a built-in Python module that allows us to change any Python object into an array of bytes. So that's what's happening on the screen. After this, we want to convert our secret message into an array of bits. We will start by saving the message to a variable called string, and then we're going to add some dummy data onto the back of that string. And the reason we're adding in some dummy data is because our audio file is larger than the line of text from our secret message. This means that the bits from the secret message will not be enough to fill in every least significant bit of the bytes in our cover audio. Uh, the bits that are not replaced by the secret message can then be replaced by our dummy data. So after adding in the dummy data, we can then convert the resulting string into an array of bits as we can see happening in that last line of Python code. And then lastly, we're going to use a for loop in Python to replace the least significant bit of each byte of the audio file with one bit from the secret message bit array. We'll then save the resulting byte array to a variable, and then we're gonna create a new audio file called secret.wav with these new bytes. And secret.wav, again, is going to sound exactly the same as that cover audio that I showed you in the beginning of this talk. Awesome, we are almost done. And the final step in our journey towards impressing our crush is to send the edited cover audio to them along with the code that we need or that our crush is going to need to decode our message. So let's take a quick look at the code they're going to need to uh, read the message. Now this code that's on the screen is everything they're going to, to need to uh, read the message. It looks very similar to the code we used actually just a few, a few slides ago to embed the secret message in our audio file. But this time we're using a list comprehension to extract the least significant bits. And then we use a for loop to convert the bytes back to a string. We then clean up the string we get as a result by removing the dummy data, and then we're done and we can print out our message. As you can see on the screen, we've successfully decoded the message and it says, meet me at midnight. <laughs> so now you have reached the end of your journey and hopefully when the clock strikes, 
12, you will see your crush running towards you. Um, if you would like to grab any of the code that I shared in this talk, you can feel free to visit the links on the screen to get it. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I plan to upload uh, all of the code, hopefully this evening. <laughs> and if you generally have any questions or would like to chat to me about this talk or anything Python related, feel free to DM me on Twitter. I am Marlene underscore ZW. That is it for my talk. Thank you so much for listening.